Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. My name is Eileen Charbonneau and I'm happy to be your leader of prayer this morning. Today is April 8th, Friday of the fifth week in Lent. Our readings today are taken from the prophet Jeremiah and the Gospel of John. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praised be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your people, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. The Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe the mind and the heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's response to the psalm is, In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. <clears throat> I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple he heard my voice and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. And Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not trying to stone you for any good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are gods. If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. And they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us now take a few moments for reflection on these readings.
Let us now bring our cares and concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our call to stewardship, that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we move toward an end to the pandemic, that God will guide and inspire all who work to end this virus and give our leaders the wisdom to make the right decisions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and healing in Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> we ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now as our Savior taught us, let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. May God bless us, deliver us from every evil, and grant us peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Go in peace. Thank you for joining me in prayer this morning. May God bless you today and always, and may God's peace be with you.